morning again. It's Friday, so also it's super hot. We're having heat wave in Vancouver. It's like record breaking temperature. Today we're talking about editing 4K footage on a slow ass computer using proxies in Premiere. This is gonna change your life if you're trying to do 4K. Let's go. Okay, first off, let's actually talk, what does editing with proxies mean? Basically what Premiere is gonna do is take your 4K footage and then make a proxy at 720p, which is like a duplicate of that file at a lower resolution, which you'll be able to toggle back and forth between in Premiere. So you can edit on your computer without getting that lag. So Premiere is basically gonna transcode your 4K footage on import using media encoder. So it's easiest if you're starting off your video to set up your file with these ingest settings first, but if you've already started editing and you wanna use proxies, I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of this video. So I, have my, I have my laptop here. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, I'm actually gonna do this right on my laptop. Okay, so let's get started. So open up Premiere and create a new project. You're gonna to wanna to find the location where you wanna keep this project in the finder window. I'm gonna name this file 4K movie just for the example. And here's where you're going to set up your proxies. So you're gonna head on over to the ingest settings tab. You're gonna to wanna to tick off ingest and under the drop down menu, you're going to click on create proxies. Under the preset window, this is where you're going to choose what resolution your proxies are going to be. I'm going to go with the 1280 by 720 H.264 preset. Um, if you find your computer is really slow, then you can try using the 540 setting. And under proxy destination, you're going to want to select choose location. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call that proxies and that's where the destination for my proxies are going to go. All right, so let's go ahead and click OK. So we're going to double click in our project folder where it says import media to start and we're gonna select the 4k footage that we want so I'm just gonna use these two files here just for an example um, if you're going to be doing a huge batch of footage just keep in mind that it's probably gonna take a lot longer to encode which is fine just know that you might have to leave it for a couple of hours or a full day and let that kind of transcode even overnight what's gonna happen now is you're gonna see the clips importing into Premiere but also in the background media encoder is going to pop open those files are gonna be going through media encoder and rendering out the 720p proxies. So we're gonna go back over to Premiere. Right click up, click on metadata display. In the search window, just type in proxy. Make sure that proxy is checked. Hit okay and scroll over and you'll see a proxy column. Offline means that it hasn't been transcoded yet, so the file is not attached. If it says attached, that means the proxy is attached. So you can actually go ahead and start editing. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is create your sequence. So to create a new sequence, you hit the box here, go up to sequence, click on it. You can click one of the sequence presets if you prefer, but I usually like to customize it and make sure that it's exactly what I want it to be. The key here is that you make your sequence the size of your exported video. So if you want your video to be 4K, you need to make sure that your sequence settings match that resolution. What you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna add the toggle proxy button. And what that's gonna allow you to do is switch back and forth between viewing in 4K and viewing in 720p. You're gonna come down here on the button editor, you're gonna click plus. When you click plus, a number of menu items are gonna come up. You're gonna find toggle proxies and you're gonna click and drag and add that to your buttons. Also do this in your program window as well as your source window. So when you're viewing your files, applying back your timeline, you can also view that at 720p. So now that we have the toggle proxy button added to our button menu, we can turn it on and off. So when it's highlighted blue, that means proxies are on, which means it's playing back at 720p. When it's white, it's playing back at 4K. So I'm just gonna add a clip here to the timeline. If we play back the video here with the toggle proxies button on, so it's playing back at 720p, you'll see that it plays pretty cleanly. So you can see that when it's in 4K, it's super laggy. It actually doesn't really even play back at all. So as you can tell, that's probably really annoying when you're trying to edit and time things to music. It is annoying. So what if you already created your video project, but you're finding it super slow and laggy, you're getting pissed off. How do you create proxies from a project you've already started? Come over to your project window and find your 4K footage that you wanna create proxies for. You're gonna select the clips, you're gonna right click on them, and you're gonna scroll down and select proxies, create proxies. It's gonna open up this window here, your format, I'm gonna choose H.264. Preset is gonna be 720p if your computer is really slow you can choose 540 and then we're going to come down here to destination we're going to want to put these proxies in the project folder where all of the other files are and then it should start 
doing the same thing that I just showed you. It's gonna open up Media Encoder, start transcoding those clips, and then once they're done, it's gonna say attached, and once they're attached, you can start editing with proxies. So guys, I hope you like this video. Hopefully, uh, this saves you a few frustrations if you're trying to get into video and you're trying to edit 4K on a slower machine. Remember, new tutorials every Friday. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. It's time for shorts, fans, and my makeshift air conditioning unit, spray bottle.